Happy November 23rd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party fought and defeated a feral otter in a cave that we discovered behind a waterfall, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Scant rays of light pierce the gloom within the cavern behind the waterfall. At the far end, a tunnel beckons, leading you deeper into the heart of the earth. The once deafening roar of cascading water gradually dis diminishes as you press onward. Begin at the X that's over there on the left, and navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. Um, it looks like... Maybe we're headed towards area six. So let's try the dead end first. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's convenient. Here we go. Area one. A stunning underground pool reflects the cave's formations like a mirror. As you disturb the serene water, it begins to glow brightly and release vapor into the air. Roll d20 plus constitution. Reminder student. Uh-oh. 9 plus 2 is 11. That's the worst result. Um, what do we need? Three more points for Constitution. Well, we do have... We've got a consumable. We've got Lily who could help us. <clears throat> um, and we do have Ivan who's a student. Let's, just, let's see if Ivan can help us. Here we go, Ivan. Uh, what do you need? Ivan... Party tab. Ivan, if we get a heart or a diamond, we'll get plus two on this roll. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's a joker. And I think that's the red joker. I think the black joker in this deck is uh, has, has no color on him. So I think that counts. I also think this... Uh, I don't know if this counts as a face card. I'll have to look that up. I'm going to say it doesn't. So, that's plus two. If we can get one more point, uh, where are we at, Lily? Let's see, Lily <clears throat> could give us D4 constitution if we get a club or a spade greater than or equal to four. And we do. <laughs> that's, <laughs> was that the fourth or fifth time that Lily's come through for us? Okay, um, D4 constitution, we don't really need to roll that because uh, we only need one point, but... For fun, we get a four. Lily is on fire. Okay, so that gets us the best result here. The water contains a bioluminescent bacteria. The vapor is likely a toxic gas used as a defense mechanism. You move quickly and avoid breathing in the vapor. Okay, area two. We're in a hallway, it looks like. As you delve further, you come across an incline of loose rocks with a small opening at the top. Roll d20 plus strength. Two. <laughs> plus four, six. But um, that's not going to get us there. But Ivy has royal might. She can reroll strength once per page. Well, twice per page, actually. So let's reroll that one. <laughs> not a lot better, Ivy. That's nine. Um, let's do it one more time. This is our last chance. Here we go. And then, oh boy. Here we go. Six. Okay. Worst result. And we're retiring that die. Um, let's see. As you walk upward, the rocks and pebbles begin to tumble down. Endless rocks seem to take a place as they cascade down the hill. You grow exhausted as you slide backwards. You can't make progress upward and are unable to pass. Oh, that's a bummer. So we won't know what's in Area 3. Okay, heading back down to Area 4. As you walk down a lengthy tunnel, you hear a clacking coming from beyond the darkness that grows louder as it gets closer. Roll d20 plus dexterity, reminder stealthy. Here we go. One. Our rolls are terrible today. Uh, let's see, this is the worst result. 
An insect walking down the hall hesitates before turning around to run. Take a minus two penalty on all rolls on the next page. Fantastic. We just alerted um, somebody. Minus two all rolls. Uh, next page will be November 25th. November 25. Oh, that's, that's no good. Where's our reminder? Well, I'll get that later. Okay. Area 4. Area 5. You can hear buzzing and clacking in the room beyond. You may stop exploring now or you may continue to explore before returning here. Oh, we passed up room 6. Let's check out area 6. The ceiling of a small chamber is dotted with mysterious glowworms casting an ethereal glow around you. They crawl away as you enter, startled by your presence. Roll d20 plus charisma. Reminder, bug tamer. Okay, one good roll today? That's not bad. 13 plus 2 is 15. That's the best result. In response to your gentle demeanor, some of them cautiously descend down to your level casting their soft, soothing light around you. Regain D4 health. That's excellent. Okay. Here we go. One. <laughs> well, that's something. Okay, so we go up to 30 health. Minus two roll to all rolls tomorrow. I don't like that. But it is what it is. Um... Let's see, it is Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery, and we're out here in the middle of nowhere, so we will do our cards of nonsensicalness. And let's see who shows up, so we need a six-sided die. Here we go. Six, a cute little hedgehog. I don't think we've seen a hedgehog before. A cute little hedgehog wearing an ugly Christmas sweater with the words... Sunday Lottery knitted in. And how does this hedgehog arrive? Four tunnels in on a mole machine, of course. That's perfect. All right. So, and he has a box with a slot in it. We put in two amber, and then we open the box, and inside are, is uh, um, three amber. So we gain one. We're up to 103 amber. And that, my friends is November 23rd and 24th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.